Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mathematics, channel with really interesting challenges every day, and today we have a really interesting question, we have 10 plus 20 divided by 2 and plus 4. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have only addition, we have only division, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, right here we have three options, A, B and C, so choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check your answers in the end of the video, because this is a very tricky challenge, and a lot of students may make this common mistake. So right now there are three types of students, so take a look closely. This is like a first interpretation to this challenge. So first type of student solve this question like that, we have 10 plus 20 divided by 2 and plus plus 4. So here is our first interpretation. So first type of student solve this question like that, they don't know about order of operation, they start for example with this addition, so we have 10 plus 20 equal to 30, we have 2 plus 4 equal to equal to 6, so they divide right here 3 divided by 6 equal to equal to 5. We have this option A. So first type of students solve this question like that. Another type of students solve this question in a, in a different way, so take a look, we have, we have 10 plus 20 divided by 2 and plus 4. They go from the left to right order, so we have 10 plus 20 equal to equal to 30, yeah, and we have this division by 2 and plus 4, division by 2 and plus 4, which is equal to right here we have 3, 30 divided by 2 equal to 15, so 15 plus 4, which is equal to, which is equal to 19, okay? So this looks like a correct answer is B, so a lot of students solve this question in their own way, they don't know about order of operation, but in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, so we can't solve this question randomly, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. And right now for this third interpretation I wanted to you, uh, want, I wanted you to look at this spin DMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, so right now let's solve this question to the, according to this order of operation. Not to this uh, randomly solution right here, let's solve this question according to this order of operation. So we have we have 10 plus 20 divided by 2 and plus 4. So here's our challenge. So let's look at it. What elements do we have right here? Because PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so right here we have a lot of steps and the parentheses has the highest priority and addition and subtraction has the lowest priority, okay? So right now we should scan what elements do we have in our challenge. Parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. So let's start from these parentheses. For me personally I don't see any parentheses, so we just, we just skip this part, which is really good. What about exponents? For me personally, I don't see any exponent. We don't have any two square, maybe four cube, maybe twenty square. We don't have it, so we can we not need to raise this. So right here, we cancel this exponent part. Multiplication division group. We should evaluate multiplication and division part. And now we should scan where do we have this multiplication and division part. We don't have multiplication sign, but if we look closely, right here in the middle, we have this we have this division sign. And if I, we go a little bit further, so we have division sign. And if you go further, we have all two addition signs. So right here we have this case. Additions, addition case is after this division. And we reject this subtraction case because we don't have any subtraction sign. And if you look closely, we have only division pass on the division sign and only addition sign. Okay? Two, two, two signs. A division and addition. But if you look closely at this PMTMC, division is all the time before addition. So we should divide at first, then we should add. Really important moment. So let's do this. So right here we have 10, 10 plus. 20 divided by 2 equal to equal to 10 and plus plus 4. So we have 10 plus 10 plus 4. This is like a basic addition, so we don't need our order of operation. And we can easily write that our answer equal to equal to 24. So right here our answer equal to 24. It goes from this one. 24 is a correct answer. But right now what is the correct answer? Right here we had looks like a correct solution. Right here looks like a correct solution. We have 5, 19 and 24, but which one is correct? Let's go to this first interpretation. This interpretation is absolutely incorrect because we can't solve addition and then division. This is a very bad, bad, bad mistake in terms of math. So we have parentheses. If you put brackets, then correct answer will be 5. But in our case we don't have parentheses. Uh, so correct answer is not 5, because with parentheses 5, without parentheses, this is absolutely wrong to solve addition, then division. So the first step, addition, uh, the first step, division, then addition. In our case, addition with parentheses is okay, because we have 30 and 6, this is okay with, with parentheses. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so we just skip this part. 
In this case, this solution with parentheses is okay, because we should start from these parentheses at first, but without parentheses, this is a very bad solution, so forget about this, about this 19, which is a really bad solution in our case. So this is correct solution with parentheses, so 5 is a correct solution with parentheses. Right here with parentheses, right in this case 10 plus 20, correct answer is 19. But a correct answer in, the, in our case without parentheses is 24. So forget about this 5, forget about this 19. I hope you choose option 20, uh, 24. If you're talking about this letter, we have not, not A, not B, but we have C for factorial. So it looks like 4 factorial will, will be a correct answer because this is a product from 1 to 4. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. Yeah, we have like that 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4. So it looks like 24 is a correct answer according to PMDMC and, and according to this to this test. Let's write our answer. Our answer, correct answer is option. Option C is a correct answer to this challenge. So we hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. And moreover, I hope your answer is the same as mine. But definitely don't feel bad if you if you got this wrong. I have a ton of videos of my channel to these interesting challenges every day. So if you're interested in this, you can easily visit my YouTube channel. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.